Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, today I have come up with a very amazing problem from Pathfinder and it's a trick video. And uh, uh, here is a statement of uh, this problem. An ideal gas undergoes a cyclic process that is shown by a circle in PV indicator diagram of the process. What is the ratio of highest temperature to the lowest temperature attained by the gas during the process? So guys, you can see here the graph on Y axis is P by P naught and this is v by v naught so simply we are having uh, these ratios all right uh, and it's a circle it is given and uh, center of this circle is at uh, 2 comma 2 and so this circle is symmetrical about uh, y equal to x line so concept wise here we can see for any thermodynamic cycle its maximum and minimum temperature will be between two isotherms of max and minimum temperature and we know uh, the isothermal uh, process is PV equal to constant which is a rectangular hyperbola. So if we are having uh, a set of rectangular hyperbolas they will be parallel curves and uh, the graph which is above all that will be at maximum temperature. So T3, T2, T1 these are the three isotherms so definitely T3 is greater than T2 greater than T1. Alright and about the circle here we can say the given circle is a, uh, is a circle symmetrical about y equal to x line. So we know the center, we know the radius of it. This radius of this circle is uh, 1 unit and its center is at 2 comma 2. So that's how this equation is. The actual process of solving this question may be in polar coordinate or maybe uh, regular PV diagram. So you have to perform maximum minima but here we are going to use uh, the trick of uh, isothermal curves here so if you see uh, in the next diagram and this line is inclined at uh, pi by 4 angle right so you can see here I am taking two isotherms with the T minimum and with the T max so they must intersect the circle at uh, point A and B respectively all right so i can easily find the coordinates of point a you can see here it is 2 minus 1 cos 45 and uh, similarly uh, this uh, coordinate also is uh, i can write uh, 2 minus uh, 1 cos 45 so both x and y coordinates are uh, known to us here that means p by p naught is known to us and uh, v by v naught is also known to us so temperature at a which is going to be t minimum it is going to be simply pv by nr so if i simplify this further p naught v naught by nr times uh, 2 root 2 minus 1 by root 2 whole square i'm sub simplifying this 2 root 2 minus 1 by root 2 similarly i can do the same thing at point b as well now this is uh, the point b I know the uh, coordinates of point B you can see here it is uh, 2 plus uh, 1 cos 45 and similarly y coordinate is 2 plus 1 cos 45 so both are known to us uh, in this situation so P by P naught value at A is going to be 2 plus uh, 1 by root 2 and V by V naught value is going to be uh, again 2 plus uh, root 2 so now temperature at B which is the maximum temperature I can simply write PV by NR. So it is going to be P naught V naught by NR and which is going to be 2 root 2 plus 1 by root 2 whole square. So this T max by T minimum ratio is going to come as uh, 2 root 2 plus 1 by 2 root 2 minus 1 whole square of this, this is going to be the answer for this problem guys. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, tricky solution for this uh, complicated problem. It is from uh, uh, check your understanding. So by conventional method, is, it is going to be very lengthy method. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and uh, share this video with others. But if you, have, if you are uh, new to the channel and you haven't subscribed it, please subscribe it. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.